Hey, babies and gentlemen. Watching my deadlift PR today. Put a cap on for variation. Aesthetic variation. Aesthetics. Okay, so uh, this is a. Um, I hope it's a short video. About the um, Chris Jones beef. Actually, it's not about the Chris Jones beef at all. But what I want to say is it kind of shocks me that the international YouTube fitness community, well, doesn't seem to be any better than any other community. And I'll tell you why. It's, it's of course, uh, notorious that when people um, that are making money out of these videos that they post on YouTube get a chance to inflate their views and be relevant and participate in a discussion, well, they take that chance. Unfortunately, the way that they participate isn't always the best possible way to dignify the YouTube fitness community or themselves. And uh, recently we have had the vegan games um, scandal or whatever where this vegan fitness YouTuber uh, essentially was caught in a video online where he when he, where he was playing some game some first person shooter and he was on camera being recorded and he said he he spoke how he would he would uh, kill another YouTube user Mr. Rapsion and right now the big fuss is about this clash between uh, Physics of Greatness two account owners uh, Chris Jones and Vincent Vince G, the swole nerd and um, I don't really want to give my opinion about it I mean they both have their reasons maybe overall Chris has got the most reasons to be upset after all he worked a lot and uh, a lot more than Vince G on the channel at least the last two years and he got fed up with it and he decided to move to other endeavors and go solo go Lone Ranger style and stuff like that and you know and now Vince G seems to have gotten over his camera shyness and uh, is making a, an effort to produce more content on his own for the channel for their channel now what I'm really not enjoying is how people like Jason Blaha you know are seizing this opportunity and also Elgin intensity I don't care any of you guys uh, decide to troll me or something I don't even have the, 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 the channel dimensions for you to bother this is a good thing right yeah sometimes it can be but little fish like us have a word to say as well and you guys are being lame as fuck because essentially you're seizing this lapse by um, Vince G where when he recorded something that he probably shouldn't have put in the video about not wanting his family his mother to stop receiving this government benefit and so the channel got registered only in Chris Jones' name because he was fearful 
that if the channel made a lot of money, thing that he wasn't sure of, of course, he didn't know how the channel was going to go, to work out, so this is preposterous. But he covered the possibility and he did it for his family, not for himself because he would be making money, right, if the channel went well, right, from the channel he would get the money. He didn't want to fuck up the situation for his family, right, who were the recipients of the, of the subsidy. Not him. But uh, even if you think this is lame and government benefits are lame and I'm certainly <laughs> of that persuasion. After all, I'm an anarcho-capitalist. I don't know if you guys know that. An agorist and stuff like that. Sorry if I disappoint anybody. I'm a libertarian and an anarchist. Biological implication. Um, but I don't think you should just take a person's sincere mistake and make an exploitation video about that, you know. This is not what I'm doing, by the way. I'm not doing that right now, you know. I'm trying to put a message out there which is a constructive, a positive message, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you guys are just like paras parasites you know when you when you when you do stuff like that because he could actually go to jail and uh, he removed the video from the channel right he was trying to cover his ass and stop it right there but you guys are not letting him do that you guys are taking a piece of his video, selecting that specific part where he frames himself and replicating it. And so more and more copies of that uh, are put online. And that's, that, to that totally sucks. You're playing with someone's life here, his liberty, stuff like that. I don't know if his liberty is at stake, but pr could be. And that just shows how unconscious or worse how consciously vicious you guys can be because you just don't care that because of you and people like you this guy may go to jail for something that he did years ago kind of trivial and not for himself basically for his mother. I think that's pathetic. You guys have knowledge about training. You have a lot of fans. You could be spending your time talking about positive stuff or trolling people who deserve to be trolled, I guess. It's entertaining. We get it. But when you when there's this case, this Thing that feeds to the lowest common denominator and you guys go there and you try to go with the crowd and the lynching mob and become a part of the lynching mob that's really beneath you guys and I hope I don't do that and I do that as little as possible not only in the past but in the future nobody is immune to falling prey of this type of herd mentality, but you guys need to be aware that you are being part of a lynching mob, a herd, of, and a parasitical one at that. This isn't cool, so think about it. This was my message today. I'll see you all in the next video. Keep it strong.